Hey there, hi there, ho there, Cybermites and fellow Doctor Who fans. We're back again with another Doctor Who action figure. But this time, it's the 11th Doctor with Electronic Sonic Screwdriver Action Figure Kit. Yeah! What? No, I know, I know. Listen, I know it's another Sonic Screwdriver. I know. Great. And I know it's the 11th Doctor. It should probably have been the 12th Doctor with Sonic Screwdriver since he's the most recent Doctor. But hey, we take what we're given, okay? But hey, wait till the review's done and then you can complain. Because you know what? It's not a bad set if you're just starting to collect and this is your first foray into the Doctor Who collecting pool. So sit right back, relax, let me start this review, and then at the end, you can complain if you need to. Okay, everyone, let's do it! He's a robot, and a human, and he has lots of toys. He loves to review them for all the girls and all the boys. So sit right back, watch and get your fill. Who is this man that gave me a thrill? Who, you may ask? Well, it's Cyberman Bill. Cyberman Bill Cyberman Bill That's me! Okay, let's start off the review by looking at the packaging. As you can see, the packaging looks like the TARDIS! That's actually really kind of cool! On the right hand side, we've got 11th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver with light and sound effects in the diamonds. And then on the left, the bottom of the door, we've got the BBC Doctor Who logo. Now, opening up the TARDIS doors, it reveals the Doctor and Sonic Screwdriver. Now, turning the packaging over to the back, you'll see we get the Doctor Who logo. Ooh, some nice photos of what's included in the package. Picture of the Doctor figure and the beautiful Sonic Screwdriver. That's sarcasm. There's a picture of that Doctor, the 5.5 inch, 14 centimeter scale collector series. If you notice, there's a little blurb right there about the 11th Doctor and the 11th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. You can pause if you want to read it. And finally, at the bottom of the packaging, we get some beautiful battery information and some legal Farfic Nugan that we all know and love! Okay, okay, that's enough with the packaging. Let's open these TARDIS doors and open up the packaging and take out these lovely Doctor and Sonic Screwdriver figures. To open it up, you actually open the side of the box. You don't open the TARDIS doors. You open the side of the box and slide out the little tray. Just a quick look of what's left inside the packaging after you take everything out. It's that beautiful cog and diamond background. And boom! Here they are! The 11th Doctor figure and his trusty sonic screwdriver! Okay, well, yeah, there they are. So, what do you guys think? I mean, the paint is rather nice and the sculpt is alright. Okay. <laughs> the paint isn't that bad, see? And the sculpt is rather nice. Look at it, the sculpt on his head and his hair. If this is your first figure that you've ever gotten in the Doctor Who line, it's really not that bad of a figure then. Of course, the figure comes with his sonic screwdriver in open mode. Now let's take a look at the Sonic that came in the set. As you can see, it's the one button Sonic, which means... Hmm, what does that mean? It means it doesn't extend. What? It's the 11th Doctor! The one Doctor that extended his Sonic the most! Now let's listen to the lovely sounds that the Sonic makes. As you heard, it has those secret hidden sounds. Now, taking a look at articulation, the head can turn right and left, but it can't do the 360 exorcist twist, or else his head will fall off. That happened to me. Now, moving down to the arms, his arms can move up, bend at the elbow, twist at the upper arm, and then, of course, 360 at the wrist but it cannot extend out. Now to the legs. 
The legs can kick out, bend at the knee, do the Michael Jackson kick, hee hee! Back out, back down, and of course there's no ankle pivot. And as you can see, the 11th Doctor is very flexible. He can do the splits, yay! As you can see, the 11th Doctor measures in at just at 5.5 inches. Now here's the 11th Doctor with his next incarnation, the 12th Doctor. You guys, you guys, don't get into trouble. And with that, it brings me to the end of my 11th Doctor collector's figure and electronic sonic screwdriver set. So overall, what do I think about this set? <laughs> well, where to begin? Well, as I said in the beginning, if this is your first foray into the Doctor Who line, this is a nice set to get because you get a sonic screwdriver and a 11th Doctor figure, even though it's a few years too late for the 11th Doctor, but that's another story. But why did they give you a non-extending sonic? The 11th Doctor was the only Doctor that would use the sonic extended so many times. He'd use it like a reader. He'd scan something, then click it open and look at the sonic like he's reading something. But yet, they don't give you an extending sonic. They give you a closed sonic, so that makes no sense to me. This set, the articulation on the uh, Doctor is not great. It's okay, it's just basic. Um, but other than that, you know, it's, it's an all right set. If you just want to get a good 11th Doctor figure and Sonic Screwdriver to display in the box, get it. Other than that, me personally, I would pass. But if you're a young kid or you're just getting into collecting this, this line, it's great for you. So until next time, Cybermites, this is Cyberman Bill saying, when that spotlight shines, be in it! Subscribe to Cyberman Bill! Geronimo!